Hi guys. Hi. It's your girl Annie and I'm back here with another brand new video. Woo! You guys, I feel like I've not said that in a long time. Like I just realized that I'm always doing vlogs and I've not actually sat down and decided to chat with y'all. And I'm like, oh, mm. I went on Instagram and I was like, ask me questions i want to answer your questions about me and then i didn't just want to make it so basic i wanted it to be like an interaction and a first time kind of vibe with you guys and i decided to invite my friend dami lala Woo! <laughs> hi babes how are you hello me nah of course you have <laughs> you guys my friend dami i'm actually right now i'm in nottingham mm -hmm. and you guys should best believe that a vlog is coming out soon 48 okay. days in 48 okay. hours okay. in nottingham. nottingham anyways my friend right here you know what about that Shmoney. Shmoney she decided to start her own youtube channel yeah. i'm so <laughs> proud of her because it really took her like time and, <laughs> like it kept like uh, she was like, I'm die sure. Like, yeah, uh, should yeah, I die? Yeah. Should I? I was like, babes, you need to start. When you start, you've started. So please, you guys, please, please. I'm going to leave a handle. Probably. Thank you, my love. Yeah, somewhere here or the description. Please, 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 please. You all should check her out. She's going to be consistent also. I'm going to Promise. give you guys <laughs> life of a UK student or a Nigerian living in the UK. Yeah. So yeah, please follow her. Without further ado, Let's get right into the video. Let's go. Okay, so I didn't I've not actually looked at them. I just literally like took a screen grab and I wanted it to be like authentic. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to, you know. All right. Um the first question. Oh, this is not a question. The person just said, much love from Abuja. Thank you, Aww. Victoria. Thank you so much. Much love. Love you. Um, so someone said, hi, Annie. How is UK treating you? Just wanted to say hi from a huge fan. You guys make me smile so much because sometimes I forget that I really have a community and I have people that love me. Um, I'm not going to lie. The it's UK been has been, <laughs> it's been tough. I realized that I never actually told you guys what I'm studying, like really, really. So I'm at Kingston University. I'm studying renewable energy engineering. And for those of you that are new here, I graduated from Benson Dawsa University. I studied electrical electronics engineering. Your girls are engineers. Period. Period. Let me tell them what I studied. Mm, tell them. Yeah. So for my undergrad, I studied civil engineering, and for my master's, I'm currently studying structural engineering with management. With so management, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's like two in one. But <laughs> let me throw the question at you. Like, how has oh, your life been in the UK? I'm not even gonna lie. It's literally blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> Lots of tears. Honestly, I think the dream that you're sold to, like when you're in Nigeria, yeah. it's easy to get a job. Yeah. It's, you know, it's. <laughs> it's not easy it's 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 my mom would say it's not a problem it's a challenge it's really mm. really it stretches you beyond your limits yeah. like you just have to not give up mm -hmm. have to want a better life for yourself i mean that's why you came here you want something different yeah, for greener yourself pasture, yeah, you want yeah. greener pastures but like life in uk is it's not easy it's not it's not the dream that you are so that so, you're yeah. going to get you just you have to but the thing about nigeria is there's this fighter spirit you know bro because, if you're in nigeria <laughs> you have to you have uh, to they see our place, <laughs> like, bro. Like, yeah, just um, that's, that's why, like, people come here and then they become successful over a couple of months, over some years, because like they just don't give up. So it's not like it's easy or you, things are just handed out to you. It's yeah. that like that you have to do this. It's like you know, quest real power. Yeah, you yeah. want to do, to do better for yourself. So with yeah. me, it's like I'm not even going to lie. I'm really, really grateful because. First of all, like it's our my sister and God has really been faithful because it's really not easy to send like two children abroad yes, with this economy. Hey, hey. And I'm Actually, not going to lie, it's it's crazy. Crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> when I came here, like I was kind of sad. I always used to call like if I became Dobra, I used to cry. As it was always like telling me to stop crying because it was like I came from a place where I was really doing well in school mm. and then it was like project on project. You know the vibes now, like yeah. in Nigeria, we don't have like coursework, but yeah, you have to do research work. So it was like, 
it was like a the, different thing. I didn't even realize like the educational switch is very, very it's, different. There's a, like, there's a you shock. Have to put in. You have to put in. So sometimes <laughs> I'll just wonder, am I, am I a smart girl? <laughs> or am, am I not intelligent? I remember texting to the group that sometimes I'm like, do you know, they boy used to always I'm say that. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, they boy don't say that. She literally got like best graduating <laughs> students. Like, what like, do you mean? Else, but, but for uh, me, yeah, uh, like their system is so, so different. different. Like, it's so different. Like, I think they have lecturers that know what they're yeah, doing. Yeah, like they know. Like, you can tell, okay, this is their field yeah, yeah. and it's like because you are studying masters they always tell you oh you, you know, should know you should know this is level, yeah, level seven you they should have already so taught annoying. you so it's like you have to do so much reading and so yeah. much reading and then also like i'm currently like looking for a job i still haven't like got a job mm-hmm. like it took deborah i think six I think months like three months three months because um, January, oh, okay so like me it's like every time i'm always getting like unfortunately unfortunately but i've i've tried to like make I don't mm. I don't make a big deal of it right now because at the end of the day, like God is faithful. Like yeah. I've never like had to like worry about what yes. I'll eat. Yes. I have yes. like a roof over my head. Like right now, the only thing is that okay, I cannot decide to like have you fun. Buy I can't buy clothes. <laughs> I can't buy clothes. Like, I can't, I can't buy clothes. like, yeah, but that, like right that's now. like the only like yeah. issue. But I've said that like everything has just been going according to God's plan. So I really can't complain. I can't complain tips for visa interview yeah. so the thing is that the uk i don't think they do that because i didn't get like any interview like it was just when i got to like what's that thing called what's that place called somewhere in, Wait, on the mainland yeah, shall yeah it's a visa office, yeah it's a visa official but like when you get there the only thing you just do is you stand in front of a camera you so, yeah, say your name, what you're going there birth. to do, date of birth, what school you're going for, and that's that's it. So that's just for UK because US that's for UK, U- US and Canada, they it's are different. Like so like, different if you're going to like coming to the UK, they don't do interviews. The only thing you just do is get your what's that thing, tobacco test. Mm-hmm. You get your CAS. You get your, your proof of funds, yeah, yeah. test, and that's literally all you need for like the UK. But I don't know like how it is for canada but oh, US. Um, us but the uk is very very simple that's just all so the person someone asked what job do you do abroad like i said i haven't got any job yet she's a full-time content creator <laughs> now so my friend just happy me up watch our channel go to our instagram like comment yeah. share subscribe whatever 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 so, yeah, yeah so right now just do content and yeah do my school work yeah because right now i'm doing dissertation as mm. the brat so my girl is about to yeah. graduate so she's graduating september something about it's not september absolutely i'm coming to my dissertation okay. september again december, december. december. so we're going to be taunt 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 my graduate yeah so right now no i'm not what's your go-to karaoke song I'm sorry, boys. Like Justin Bieber. I don't like not me. I, not like I don't like mm. karaoke, but I'm not like one that will just go I'm and sing. sing. But I think my best has to be Justin Bieber. Wait, as long I know as, you love me. No, it's sure. not baby. As baby. long as you okay, love me. Yeah. I, I don't know if it makes sense, me. but yes. you're my hallelujah. I see y'all bitch here. Girl, you yeah, know yeah, that I got yeah. you. Us. Trust the world, cause that's just how you do. You used to say we're trying to leave it, but the sky's a point of view. <laughs> so that's my yeah, fave. What's your fave though? Because I don't think we've ever gone for no, karaoke. Never. We should though. I don't. I I think I just like random songs because I used to have an ideal ideal era. Right? So you just no. come to karaoke. I'm saying hello. How are never you? Never mind. I'll find someone like you. Mm, vocal. I wish nothing but the best for you too. Don't forget me. I bet. I bet you're doing too much now. Ah, <laughs> I was waiting for that. Shit. Ah, yes. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I think um, as long as love is definitely my yeah, go to. Yeah, it's something yeah. I know how to sing. I mean, I'm a Biba head. I always have Biba fever to the day I die. Not to the day I die, but okay. yeah. <laughs> um, someone asked, would you ever come back to Nigeria? Would you mm-hmm. ever come back to Nigeria? Yeah. Tomorrow, I can't. I, I, like, I we had a conversation today. I was like, yeah, actually, I want to build, I want to build generational so, wealth. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I'll come back. I mean, after a couple of years, mm-hmm. I'll be back to Nigeria to build myself, like mm-hmm. to build my consultancy firm and to start my fashion, like, house, like, full on business. I mean, I will mm-hmm. start it here online, but I think I want, like, the gears, the factory, and everything mm-hmm. should be in Nigeria. I mean, I also say I want to get a farm, like, next mm-hmm. year. So everything is going to be in Nigeria. After, but that's going to be like after a couple of years. But I'm going to like start like the groundwork here, so it's not like I'm going there to like start all over. Yeah, again. all over again. I think that's yeah. something that scares me. Like first of all, like I've left like 
taking my life and I've yes. moved here and I'm Oops. chatting. And let me tell you guys, when I say the cultural shock here is real, it's really real. So it's it's a thing of I feel like if I get like a better mm. like a greener, 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 greener pasture. Because like I'm not even going to lie, Nigeria is home. Yeah. Like I feel like if not for like our economy, Nigeria is home, you guys. You know this this whole there's no place like home. Yeah, I, it's, it's, it's where thing. I go here, honestly. Yeah. There's really no place like home. And like just like like our let's say like what we stand for, like it's just mm, a different, different like our values are so different very, from very theirs. Different. And like I don't know. I'm such a family do person. Go back? I don't know. I genuinely feel like God's will obviously, but mm. I feel like if like I get like a good setting, like probably like a job that pays me in pounds, in dollars, right. you know. I'm, I'm, I'm I don't want Naira though. It's all like, about that I'm about money. That money. <laughs> so it's just I just feel like it's like the opportunity, like yeah. wherever like this, like a better opportunity. So it's not like it's cancelled, but currently like it's not something that I'm thinking about. But like God's will literally. So if yeah. if the the it's good that other place they're not why not because i'm not even going to lie i love nigeria i miss nigeria so so much like i'm like i never you know when you see on um instagram how they yeah. say like the uk can be lonely yeah. That's you guys I just, and i feel like imagine like i'm with my sister and i still feel like it's lonely so imagine like my friend imagine like people that do not have like family yeah she came like she came for like two days she went back to like her city because she doesn't she's like hours away from here so I was like alone. Some days I'm just crying. Like mm. some days I'll be coming back from like buying to the school or coming back from like buying something. I'll just be crying because mm. I don't know anybody. Mm-hmm. It's just, well, I mean, God is helping us now. And so I think it's not it's, bad, it's, bad, bad. And I even think it's hard. It's hard. I don't know. For me personally, like it's hard that for me to like make friends like with the people here because yeah. like sometimes they don't even understand your jokes or like they don't understand what you're Can saying really? or like you have to like enunciate your words like yeah. you have to be like you have to you're right. Yeah, like, like you're trying to hear me. I even mean, you know, there's there's some jokes. Can I speak to you? There's yeah. some jokes that you go tell. They don't yeah, understand. He, 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 he hits when you you they speak yeah, out for yeah. people. Like it's like ah, uh, but those like yeah. access for that. But like yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's, I feel like it's cause like I haven't explored. Like there's some like I'm not even gonna say that being in Nottingham, I've enjoyed it because yeah. I don't know. Like this place reminds me of like Vampire Diaries. I keep telling the bro, like it's like so the old clock scene. Like it feels like I'm sightseeing literally. I feel like a tourist in Nottingham. Like yeah. I'm so excited. Like this has been like. Probably like the highlights of like since I came here. A lot of drama, (laughs) you guys. I've been having a lot of drama, bro. (laughs) But no, that's a story for another day. (laughs) (laughs) What is a hidden talent that your subscribers don't know about? This question makes me feel like I'm not talented. (laughs) I'm not saying you're talented. Because I can't sing. I can dance. Well, you can dance, like, try. That's not a talent. That's not a hidden talent. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think I have any hidden talent? You know, do you draw? I used hidden. to draw actually, but is that hidden? Like I used to draw in secondary school. Like I felt I feel like like my I and my sister essay, like we draw, like we're very artistic. Mm. So I feel like it's a matter of like if I had like honed <laughs> my my accent just came out. <laughs> but if I had honed my skills, like I feel like I would have been very good at drawing because I used to like like I like drawing. It's like makeup for me. Like you know, when I don't know about you, but like your mind sometimes you just can't calm it. So like mm-hmm. when I start de- doing makeup, makeup, it's like I'm yeah. calm. So like that's the way art used to be for me. So I guess that's actually like a hidden yeah. talent that my friends say I'm not talented. I, think it's <laughs> I just asked a question. I think it's drawing. I just yeah. Think it's mm, yeah. I think I don't think it's hidden, but I never knew my friend could sing until like last month. <laughs> I was shook, you guys. And the thing with me is that like. I used to think like way back, you know, all these children, churches. Mm. But like, I'm like, uh, I didn't I really think I sing. I didn't really you didn't, you didn't tell try. me. I didn't I knew. Well, I just said at this time, I'm just going to vocal because you don't know who can hear you. Yeah. You, know who can see you. you don't know. Mm. You don't even know where your big break or opportunity. Or, I'm not saying I'm going to be a singer, but I'm just saying, you don't know where your opportunity is. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not saying, but like, you don't know where someone can just look at mm-hmm. like you take this. I, I yeah. want to bless you. What, what are your goals? I want to bless you. So it's mm. just, just be open about where Open doors. You yeah, don't yeah. shut yourself. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> what are three sources of income you'd advise a young girl saving up in uni to do? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, probably, I'm not because probably, like, when I was in uni, I used to actually make people up. I think that's a very, very resourceful thing. Yeah. Like, if you really want to like find a source of income, I will actually, 
advise right. anything entrepreneurship yeah. like makeup hairstyling like it brings money mm. it really does because like things like convocation matric or let's say like girls we like birthday dinners yeah. you just say who is that who is like a good makeup artist like you can just mm. be like literally small small money because i remember that time i used to like charge like 5k yeah. but by the time you make like five people up that's already yeah, 25k that's like i think that's like anything like yeah more. exactly anything like entrepreneurship like mm. even like hair business sells very well being clothes like Look, clothes, i was about to like say thrifting. that you know when you, yeah i don't know maybe like my mom now when we we're younger she had like okrika what we're calling tricks <laughs> now what we're calling it's okrika <laughs> but we all know it's okrika that is washed yeah. than iron but okay <laughs> okay I think that one actually is like yeah. a very good source of income. Like just well, like that, that time in uh, sorry, Chris Cross, you in mm-hmm, university where that on the B floor where there are so many like yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you, see, so yeah. you see people like girls who literally rush come and be rushing. Yeah, like, it really like, helps. Like, so like yeah. like especially like if you're like in like a student accommodation where there are like a lot of students. Like yeah, you can yeah. literally like, you just like mm-hmm. people going um door to door like just knocking. I'm like, oh, do you want to? And even she sheen is a very good way to make money mm-hmm. because like sheen's things like they're affordable mm-hmm. and when you buy like up to like i think hundred dollars or hundred pounds yeah. that's how much in naira if you buy like hundred like pounds mm-hmm. worth of like sheen clothes you get like free shipping to nigeria yeah, yeah, yeah. so like imagine like just starting from like hundred pounds like girls like like things like pouch mm-hmm. phone case cute like all those cute things even like oh, all those bowls that, like you know you like that thing yeah so i used to like that's always buy it like oh, all as, accessories like girls like yeah, even like yeah. my pouches from sheen mm. it's just cute like that's like a way to make mm. money i like, think that time too that i used to like go and get people sheen orders yeah get, like, you can even be like a personal, personal shopper, shopper okay. even for sheen it doesn't have to be like, like high, high brand, like just like sheen. Just small, small. So I think those like are like the ways. Like, how come we just thought about it? I didn't even think. Like the way it was. <laughs> but I think those are like the things that are like, like legit, legit, legit mm. source of like income. Like first of all, my friends, people should leave me alone. Like I kept getting, why do you love me? Why do you love me for <laughs> my friends? <laughs> Why do you love what I feel? Why do you love me? Like, bro, like, people, people should people have trust issues. I've said I love you. What more do you want me? Like, one more, <laughs> one more. Please, please do. Why do you love us, though? I love my What's friends because they're always there for me. Ooh. They keep me grounded. Like, Aww. You know, there are some people that will just let you do what you want That's to right. do, but like, babes, this thing is not good. They call me out on my BS. Like, babes, like, sometimes it might be too much. Like, <laughs> friends, like can you calm down? But like, they always call me out on my BS, yeah. so I love them so much. Y'all are trying to get to my personal mm-hmm. business. Okay. Um, have you ever been in a relationship? Deborah? Take the microphone. You- <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say take the microphone? Okay. Have you ever been in a relationship? Yeah, I have. Yeah. How, how was it? <laughs> it was okay it was good it was it was good while it lasted it mm-hmm. was it was good i i remember speaking to one of my friends and he was like speaking of okay one okay, of my, my friends like a guy i thought it was a girl like, and, he was like, to me. and he's like um if it, if it works it works if it doesn't work you learn a lesson from it so you just why must we learn, learn, don't learn so many lessons, why must we though? learn lessons <laughs> why just, because because if you don't take it as a lesson you're going to take it as a field again in the relationship do you get so you learn you're learning something you've learned that yeah i have failed a relationship and it, it won't stop you from you know trying again, trying again. but you know I, I feel like the more like you feel in relationships or like the more you get heartbroken the yeah, harder it is yeah, for you to so trust love. people but i think, for you I to think love. the thing is that the thing i've learned is be more intentional about the person you want to be with mm. even if okay you're young Oh my god, no, I'm not I'm not I'm not advising anybody, but like <laughs> my girl says I'm not I'm not advising, but just take it to the pinch of like, salt. The pinch of salt, just in case you bring your back. <laughs> but my, what I was about to say is that even if you, you are young and you don't want to get married right now mm. or whatever, you know, it's easier get, don't just get into fingers. Someone say yesterday, we're just leaving. What does it mean that like you're just leaving? When, what when that, that guy mean, said that, like, I'm like, you know, I he was just trying so hard not to say friends to benefit. Yes, like I just kept so looking at him. Just because they are going to get her book, like, yeah, be intentional. Okay, these are things I want, and don't be too vain. Mm. Yeah, like, it's Deep good, yeah, things. yeah, it's good to like want a tall guy, handsome, beautiful, this, that, blah, blah, blah. That's amazing. But what else beyond this? Like, I, what's your ratio of physical to you know, is it 30, yeah, 70, like, 60, 40? Like, what like what's, what's that ratio? Are, yeah. yeah, like, the best so focus, yeah, focus on that yeah. thing. So, like, 
you, you may be have broken too, even if you find the perfect person, but that person may not even be the right person for you. But you know, there are sometimes, yeah, like you can find like it doesn't even have to be about vain mm. like you find like a person that his morals are good his yeah, values are good his goal oriented not... but like he just turns out to be like a shitty ass person shitty ass as how like <laughs> <laughs> well I, what i would say for that is that like the person may be a good person maybe the right person for someone else so mm-hmm. that's just showing that that shitty ass person may be a shitty ass person for another person like that person may be okay for another person but that person mm-hmm. is just not for you that's just the thing so if it doesn't work it's just not for you and you just move on like right they right went from have you ever been in the relationship to they give you for a relationship i hope you love but i'm not i'm not a relationship person to, 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 to. so i don't yeah, know but, have i ever been in a relationship yeah yeah you have. i have i have guess i guess <laughs> it was it was all right it was, you know how it goes you know how it goes yeah, yeah. The next question is, how do you deal with a heartbreak? I feel like I can't even answer this thing because yesterday and today, you guys, <laughs> something happened. And oh personal, personal, but I'm going to get personal with you guys because <laughs> we are always honest here. My friend, we went out for a birthday, yeah. and then my friend told me she saw someone, but she, I thought I heard my ex's name. <laughs> I was like, what? Where? 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 <laughs> and I was like, I thought I was over this guy. Yeah. And he was like, I cried, you guys. Like, I'm like, so I'm not even the best like, person to even answer. I but how do you think? It. Like, my friend, they've ah. always saying, like, I need to, like, let go. Like, I did the usual delete mm. pictures. Mm. I did the usual. I haven't unfollowed him yet, but. Very soon, I feel like my friend wants to. I really? want to force my hand to do the message. I, I will to take unfollow. your phone very soon to unfollow him. But, like, if. You just be so fine now. But how do you deal with it? Me? How do you deal with it? How do you? How do you? Like, educate me and the viewers. Me, no, self, wait, the person I that asked this question wants to know too. Because I genuinely I want thought, to know. I, first of all, I'm very young. So I don't think, like, I have all the answers. But yeah, of course. From an ex, my personal experience with, you know, being heartbreak. Heart I would say, I know this may sound cliche, but I'm not, I'm saying this from what I just experienced recently. Mm. I I was in, I did not even realize that I was heartbroken. <laughs> like that was what he said. Like I didn't realize that I had not healed. Yeah, Someone he was, was telling me like, yeah. I had a very good friend that he was like, Deborah, you you have you some so you need some healing. You have some healing to do. And I did not Wait, realize. I told you that. So... Re- no, you said that. You said that to you. So why did I say one guy? Because <laughs> that guy, he, like, it's kind of almost been turned to an argument. Mm. <laughs> he was, I remember he was very very wrong. Ah, okay. And I remember like. You know, just telling God, God, please heal me. God, please heal me. Mm-hmm. And what happened was, I, one day I was just studying God's word and I read my Bible and I prayed. And I, like, that was just a very random. I just carried my phone. Pictures, videos I was holding on to. I just started deleting everything. Well, that doesn't work. Like, someone thing. like me now that I, I've deleted all our yeah, pictures. Yeah, no, no, that's the thing. Deleting the picture is not what, it's like the fact that I was able to do that, that me realize that okay i've moved on so now if i see the person i know you're a bit confused yeah because i, I like that, that like, doesn't mean... like i would say that the prayer kind of like worked on me it just made me realize that so god what... didn't answer my prayer no 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 no, no i'm messing with you i'm messing with you like i'm saying that like people heal different things. yeah and i can say now Very like true. right now it happened like you know the breakup happened like Last, last year, year yeah but now i can tell from like i mean in a, like a better a better right space now, like. yeah so i'll just say that find what works for you and make sure you like i always say make sure you address this mm. don't don't just you know pass over you know you. i don't think that's i think over. that's what happened to me i feel yeah. like i just like took it like oh okay yeah. no problem but I like i never that's addressed it i make sure yeah. you address if it's to pray about it if it's to speak to a therapist or it's to speak ah. to an older person that is you know wiser, wiser. more experienced yeah. than you. <laughs> um, someone said, "What are your plans for the future?" Um, to be fair, yeah, I feel like I've always been like one that loves like social media influence yeah, and like it's something that resonates like really well with me. Like you just see like sometimes when I'm vlogging, you just yeah, see like the joy, <laughs> like the joy in yeah. me. It feels like I'm talking to like people, like like my family. Like mm. it feels very intimate for me. So like. I'll, I'll not even lie like it's something that i want to like really expand on like i just want like my life to be full on like lifestyle like content creation like you see people like 
Jackie Aina, yeah, yeah, yeah. my sister, like those Life people, like Lifea, like those people are like the people like I aspire to be yeah. and be more. You understand? So like that's something that I'm very very keen on. I just feel like like where I'm at right now, like school and everything, is just like a stepping stone for mm, me. Yeah, like my pastor would always say, you can't just have like one source of income. Yeah. So like you need yeah, like a right. a what's it called? Like income that is steady coming, mm. steady flow of income mm-hmm. first before you can now like really really get like what you want so like right now i'm just like oh i get a job like in the energy sector and like when i'm like very balanced and stable i just like take like full-on content creation like everything content everything influencing you know like it gets to a point where like i'm i'm out here taking brand trips guys brand like when i say brand trips like that's the goal like, like that's the goal like to be known to be seen by like yeah. so many brands like the big threes like do you understand like that's the yeah, vibe i'm on that's the vibe i'm on so right now we just like i know where i'm at right now i know that right now what is important is school what is important is finding like a job and what is important is like trying to like grow like my mm-hmm. channel that's why i'm so grateful for all of you guys like we're on 8k subs and like, like we're on 8k what road to 10,000 10, like it's, it's crazy but like that's i think that's yeah. like really like in in a short word that's like my plan for the future yeah. debbie what about you uh future plans future plans funny how yeah let's just story when i finished school people kept asking me what's next bro i, was, I hated like, that question so, so like, much my friend literally had to text me she was like i didn't even know it was maybe god just told her she was hmm. like i knew you're going to have this fit because she finished four years not that four years she was like i know mm. you're going to have this fit people asking you what's, what's your next? plan what's, what's next, next? What's yeah. next? Yeah. So she was not just saying okay let's plan mm. you want to speak to you let, let me know let me know like, many things i want to do but first of all short term i also have a fashion brand like i love fashion so much i love to love the fashion business mm. i love to play dress up i love to wear yeah. nice clothes i want to have a fashion brand um so i started my youtube because i want to have a fashion brand and secondly i want to have a structural consultancy firm so i want to go into the construction business get my 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 girl those, those are my two like let's say major source of income how has your christian life hmm. been wow that's interesting that's interesting i'm not even going to lie first of all i feel like my christian journey has been one that's like it has really been a roller coaster it's been like a lot of ups a lot of downs sometimes like you just see yourself backsliding but i feel like first of all like when i came to the uk like i met like really really cool like like when i say let me not to be cliche or anything mm-hmm. about gen z christians gen- like gen z yeah. christians so it's like <laughs> oh like you have like youths that have like burning for god yeah. like they always invite me to fellowship da, da, da. so it was like a very good like start i mean like i feel like no one is perfect like we all have our flaws like i feel like my christian journey is like a con- a, a continuous progress like work in progress i feel like i'm a work in progress i feel like sometimes i might fall short of like god's grace but i might fall short but i know that god's grace like is always like keeping me like i just have been pushing and it's very good to have like friends and family like i feel like right now i'm in a phase where my friends and i it's like it's like we just had like a shift this this year so sometimes i just imagine oh let's say i i've decided to take my christian journey like like it needs to be serious and then i don't have like friends that are like i'm like maybe i'll be under arrest now (laughs) i told like my friends oh i think i'm struggling i've not been able to pray since like it's like like today like ah deborah we pray together i'm like okay girl we're We're praying together like okay we're speaking together So yeah, I uh, think that video was just short and sweet. I think so. I think so. I think it was just so yeah. short and sweet and like intimate and like just mm. communicating with you guys like how my journey has been here yeah. so far. Um, I like I would actually advise like if you're like really if you are if you want to come to the UK, mm. just first of all like do like your research, research like research. really really well, especially like the schools you want mm. to go to, like life afterwards because you yeah. can't just like come here and then maybe you just want to go back or maybe you do not have like a plan yeah. and now you're like all confused because i'm not even going to like most times like i just get like really overwhelmed about yeah. things but i just to believe that god that brought me here in the first place like he's going maybe to finish so. like a good work for me mm-hmm. so just have
have like like-minded friends just be cool if you're having heartbreak i promise you it's not the end of the what? world like, it's really not the end of the <laughs> world it's die, a phase. Girl, you won't die you. you get over it and then i always believe that you find like the perfect person that god intended for you that's why i see so old belay anyways we've come to the end of this video you know i say don't forget to subscribe you guys please let's get to 10k subscribers please subscribe like comment down you guys please comment down what you talk about this video like nice. let me know like what you actually want to see like what yeah. kind of content that you would like me to like put out like if you've been liking like my previous vlogs if you just prefer just vlogs or you prefer like chats you know get ready with me that like, just let me know and i will i got you guys i got you guys all the time and turn on your post notification because it's a bell icon that lets you know whenever i release a new video yes That's guys great. It's such a huge every time. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, Bye guys. guys.